Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to look at four different ways how to create these lower thirds in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. So the first way is animating from scratch. Here you'll be spending more time but saving money and you'll be able to get a fully customizable design as you're in control of everything. For the second animation, we'll be using a free plugin. This will save time and money. For the third animation, you'll be using presets where you can save time and it will look professional because you're paying for that service. And for the fourth and final animation, we'll be using a preset that's free, which will save time, money, but the downside is more people will probably use this as it's a free asset. So you'll have to decide which option is best for your needs and your project. I'll leave a link to everything I talk about and the time codes to each part of the tutorial in the description below. So let's get started. For the first lower third, we're gonna create it from scratch. So feel free to download any fonts from defont.com and any color palettes from colorlovers.com. For the first animation, creating it from scratch, we'll right click here, import, file, control and I is the shortcut. Select our video, click import. Drag this into a new composition. Select our type tool up here. Select the font, and I usually have small caps on for this. And feel free to play with the spacing of the text as well. And we'll type underneath the job title and scale this down. And then we'll pull the grids up here. So the title and action safe, just to make sure the text is within this. We'll now go to layer, new, solid. Select something like a dark kind of blue. Click OK, click OK. And then if we hit T on the keyboard and bring this down, something like 24. We'll now select the rectangle tool, draw this kind of a shape, make the stroke white. And if we hold Alt and keep clicking the fill until we've got this red cross for it. Now we can right click the triangle path and go convert to Bezier path. This way we can move the shape to exactly the size we want. If we go to two seconds in our timeline and keyframe the path, and then go to one second and we'll pull this in here. Then we'll go to half a second and pull this down. So it should go up and then open up like this. Select all the keyframes, right click, keyframe velocity, 80% in, 20% out. If we go to the effects panel, and type in echo, drag this onto the shape layer, number of echoes, five. So now we'll get something like this. We'll now go to one second, hit P on the name, keyframe that, and then T, keyframe the opacity. If we hit U, it brings up all of the keyframes. So we'll go back near the start a bit and bring this down and hold shift so it stays vertical. Bring it down a bit and bring the opacity to zero. And then with Motion Designer, we can bring this down, Animate, Scale. Bring the Range Selector down and the Scale to zero. If we keyframe the Start at zero, move a bit further down the timeline and then bring it to 100%, then we can just find out whereabouts this fits in. There we are. So if we play that now. And if you don't want a dark blue overlay to affect the grading, we can also add a drop shadow onto our text. I'll bring in the distance to zero, the softness to around about 35. And I never usually use solid black, so we can pick like a dark blue. And if we copy this by Control and C or Command and C if you're on a Mac, paste it onto the shape layer and paste it onto Motion Designer. And feel free to adjust the opacity as well, just so you can make it more legible. So that's the first way of creating a lower third from scratch. For the second way of creating a lower third, we're going to look at this plugin called Animation Composer. This is a free plugin, so feel free to download it here for Windows or Mac. I'll leave a link in the description below. For this one, we'll use a color palette. So for some of my clients, if they have a brand guideline with colors in, they usually provide you with this at the start of the project. So import, file, select the colors. 
drag this here. Use the eyedropper tool. Then we'll deselect off everything again and select the rectangle tool and create a shape layer here. This time we'll hold Alt and get rid of the stroke here until there's a red line for it. And choose the fill color with the eyedropper tool, this light green here. Now we can hide the color palette and position everything here. Also to move the anchor point here into the center, a really quick way is to hold Control and double click the anchor point tool here. The same with the title, the same with the name here. So double click that and it just makes everything a little bit more organized to animate from the anchor point. Once we've installed Animation Composer, it should be in the Windows tab here. And with this plugin, it's just a simple drag and drop method. So for the transition, we pull that down, text, pair character and scaling, basic. So I like the look of this one in the preview box. So for the name, select a name and just drag this on the animating section. Then automatically, it will animate in like this. And if you want it to take longer to animate in, you just move this further right. And now it'll take three seconds to animate in. I'll drag it left. And that'll take one and a half seconds. Then we'll select Motion Designer and drag that on top there. And move this a bit further down. So the name will pop on and then Motion Designer will fade on. And for this line, as it's a solid object, we can go to 2D Layer Transformation Go to scale, scale from anchor point, and we'll do the overshoot one. If we get the anchor point tool and zoom in and move this to the left here and hold control and put it on the center one in the left. So that means that it will scale from that point there. And if we make it a bit slower, and there we are, that's the second one done with a free plugin. The third way of animating these is using a preset. So I subscribe to Envato Elements. Um, so it's like 14 euros 50 a month. So it's super cheap for what I use it for. And you've got unlimited downloads for graphic templates, videos, stock photos, music tracks, absolutely everything that you could ever need, which is a great website to have to hand. So you've got all these assets at your disposal on live projects. So this one looks pretty cool. So I can download this now and open it straight away in Adobe After Effects and just type in the text that I need. So once I open this in Adobe After Effects, this is what I have here. So it's just lots and lots of presets and pre-comps here. So I can just find one that I like, which is this one here. So lower third 71. So I can just type 71 into the search bar here and drag this straight over my video. Then I can just put a drop shadow on top of this here. And there we are, another really quick way, which is super efficient. So that's the third way how to do it with a paid preset where you save time and it's really professional. You have almost like an unlimited amount of designs from professional motion designers and you're supporting that community. The fourth and final lower third is a freebie from Rocket Stock. So this will be exactly like step three, but just you don't have to pay any money and it's in 4K. So you can just click download here and you'll get 24 free lower thirds for Adobe After Effects. And there we are, four different ways of creating lower thirds in Adobe After Effects, depending on which path you want to go down for your project. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.